And if you have not subscribed, you see promotion, not my thing. So. Hello, my beautiful blossoms. Welcome to my channel. My name is Mila and here on Fun Fridays, we talk about fun things like makeup and skincare. So I would like to share with you my latest acquisition of skincare because you know, we need more. Of course we do. I'm going to talk about uh, Mario Badescu skincare. I have purchased still one, two, three, four, five things from them. And I'm actually kind of uh, impressed with some of their products. I know, I know people have expressed that they don't like the company. I haven't done a lot of like research as far as their ethics is concerned, I suppose. I haven't heard anything outright that is like uh, super duper bad about the company itself. I know they're based in New York and I was in Saxo Fifth returning my birthday gift that I gotten for myself because I've gotten these, I've already told you in this other video, if you haven't watched it, I got these really cute earrings. I was obsessed with getting uh, safety pin earrings for my birthday. It was like a thing that I wanted uh, and I got them from Saxo Fifth and they arrived, they were like tiny, like, where are they? So then I went to my friend and she got me these gorgeous things, which are 100% gold, 14 karat gold, and they have diamonds going across and a little diamond on the side. Maybe I'll take a picture of it close up because I can't get any closer to the camera or I will scare you all off. No, just kidding. So in uh, Saxo Fifth, you know, returning my earrings and you know how they have those little uh, enticing counters uh, with small things that you're like, hopefully they're wishing you will pick up on the way out, like pretty mugs and like, you know, cute little uh, bath bath products. And uh, I saw a whole bunch of uh, Mario Badescu stuff. And I'm like, that looks really familiar. I feel like I've used it before, but I don't remember. Uh, you, I don't remember using it. So I uh, didn't buy it. I wanted to do a little more research. I went home and uh, noticed in my cabinet, I actually had their glycolic foaming cleanser. And I think it was like a trial size that I got somewhere because um, it is not a full size and I did use up one third of it. So, and I remember liking it. So I did, a, I went online, I, I did a little bit of uh, Googling and found out the reviews are pretty good on, on this brand and they're based in New York. And I'm like, I wanna support a business, you know? Uh, so I, was in need of a few products. I am always on a hunt for a good deodorant. I know, but I have tried so many uh, because I want to find one that's like aluminum free and baking soda free and paraben free and like everything free so it doesn't give you any bad things under your pits. And every single one that I tried, I tried it from Trader Joe's, I tried it from Tom's, there's a whole, you know, I've tried almost every single one uh, out there and they're all, they all fall short just not, I'm not impressed with them. Either they're like super cakey, they get crumbly and white and like anything you put on just has like, like that white line on your shirt, I hate that. Uh, or they just don't work or they smell weird or they don't smell at all, I don't know. It's just, there's, I always had a problem, so I don't know. It's a deodorant rant. Who, who knew I was gonna get into a deodorant rant? But here it is. That is why I went on the website just to check them out. When I saw the deodorant, I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I got the deodorant. Uh, it looks like this. It's actually a pretty good size um, for this product. There are 2.4 ounces in here and it says that it is cruelty-free, vegan, aluminum-free, baking soda-free, and paraben-free. And I, I was impressed. So it unrolls, unrolls. You open it up, it has like a clear thingy on top. You pop that open and it has a roll that looks like this. You can, you know, move it up, move it down, be easy to use, smells really good. And um, I enjoyed using it. It worked for me, it lasted, and it doesn't leave that white streak and it's not like that white film crumbly thing under your armpits that is like super sexy in the summer. You know, you wanna lift your pit and just have like that white sheen under there. So it doesn't have that, which I liked. Uh, the other thing that I got for them, I don't have any scrubs. I used to have scrubs. I was the scrub queen. I had every kind of scrub under the sun. I tried natural scrubs. I tried uh, making your own scrubs with, uh, what was that big thing with like brown sugar and, uh, and oats and you like mix them together. I, I did everything. And then all of a sudden like have no scrubs. 
So I got one. I got a uh, botanical exfoliating scrub for smoother, more radiant skin. And it is for all skin types, it says. And this is what it looks like. It's a large tube, 3.4 ounces. I tried it. I, li I really liked it. It has a very faint smell, which I like. I like my, my um, skincare products to have a very faint, pleasant smell or no smell. I hate when something is so intense that I can literally smell it over my perfume, which does happen. So this doesn't have it. The other thing I got was a cleansing oil and it looks like this. Again, for all skin types, six of fluid ounces in this baby. It has a pump, which we love. And I am all about a good oil cleanse. Why? I do have oily skin, but it's dehydrated. I know I keep saying it and it sounds really weird, but it's really true. It's kind of dry, but it, it has like an oily film that forms. So I generally stayed away from oil cleansers because I thought that would break me out. But then I was watching quite a few of my YouTubers, including Robert Welsh, who said that um, he recommended a few oil uh, cleansers and basically they're really great for taking your eye makeup off. That's for me personally, because my eyes are, you know, they're, they need help uh, in the uh, bags and wrinkles department. So the less I rub them, the better it is. And I found oil cleansers are just awesome for removing makeup. So I just put a little bit in my palm of my hand and just kind of, so I purchased that. I haven't tried him yet. I haven't tried him yet. I haven't tried it yet. It smells nice. Again, very faint, but it does have a smell. I will let you know how this one works. Um, the other thing that I got was an orange tonic mask and it's a mud mask and it looks like this and it has um, two ounces total and again um, for skin types uh, combination oily and C O and S I don't know what S stands for combination oily and S we'll have to figure that out I'll put it in my in my description box. I loved it. I love this thing. I loved it so much. So first I used the scrub. I used this cleanser, the glycolic foaming cleanser. Then I used this uh, very, very gently. I used the scrub. Uh, you're not really supposed to do that together, so don't do that. The scrub and after that I put the orange uh, mask and it looks like this. It's like white, oh my gosh, pretty uh, liquidy. Kind of like toothpaste, but a little more liquidy than that. And I, uh, uh, on my face, it dried fairly quickly. Uh, I had like a white, you know, like a mud mask does. I washed it off with a paper, t with a paper towel, with my um, washcloth and my skin felt amazing. It really did. I was impressed. So the scrub and the uh, orange tonic mask is a big yes for me. I really enjoyed it. And the uh, deodorant. And I'll keep you posted on the cleanser and the, what was the other thing I got? The cleanser. And I forgot how the glycolic foaming cleanser work. Like, I don't know, I don't remember what kind of an effect it had on my skin. I feel like I liked it, but I don't know. So I will try that again for you guys. I also got two samples. I got the um, hydronic dew drops and like everybody and their brother now has these, this hydronic acid. So it's cute, kind of cute to take with you. It was a sample that they sent me. I also got a sample of their caffeine eye cream and I did try it a couple of times. Eh, I didn't really see like anything revolutionary, but I only use it for a few days. So I'll keep, I'll finish it up and see what happens. And then I got this uh, flower and tonic mask that I also have not tried yet. So I will try that and let you know. But so far I enjoyed the products that I did try and I wanted to know what you guys think about it. I remember uh, when I started like uh, watching YouTube videos about this brand, somebody has mentioned that they were involved in some kind of, um, I don't know, something not good. This was already after I bought these products. But then, you know, I feel like everybody gets involved in some kind of drama. And uh, like I said, I bought it because it's a, it's a business in New York and you know, their products are cruelty free and yeah, so that's that's pretty much why I got them. So if you're interested in finding out more, I will do an update properly on my Insta stories. I'm not gonna do another video on this again, unless you guys want me to, which I don't know. If you do, put it in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you've ever used this company or if you know like of another cleansing oil that you really enjoy using or your favorite scrub or your favorite, you know, exfoliator, uh, whatever, uh, mask, just let me know. I'm, I'm open to trying new products, you know, whatever help I can get for this. I'm there. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you coming back. I appreciate you hanging out with me. Today is Friday. So, you know, thanks for hanging out with me on Friday, dude. 
Um, and I am going to see you in my next video. Any ideas on new videos, pop them down below as well. Put a like on this video. Uh, we talk about art, entrepreneurship, we talk about makeup, we talk about creative things, we talk about whatever we want on Wednesdays. This is how we roll here. Anyway, I hope you have a great day and I will see you in my next one. Bye! -bye.